Hello everyone and welcome. Today, we are going on an incredible adventure under the sea to learn about amazing ocean animals, all the way from A to Z. Are you ready to dive in and discover some fantastic fish and wonderful whales? Let's get started. Our first letter is A. What ocean animals start with A? Look at this. It's an angel fish. Angel fish are so colorful and they love to live in warm coral reefs. And here's a sea anemone. It might look like a beautiful flower, but it's actually an animal. Next up, we have the anchovy. Anchovies are small, silvery fish that swim together in big groups called schools. And finally for a we have the abalone. Abalone have these gorgeous, shiny shells that look like a rainbow inside. So cool! Now, let's move on to the letter B. Can you guess what's first? It's the blue whale. Blue whales are the biggest animals on the entire planet. They are absolutely huge. Next is the barracuda. Barracudas are super fast swimmers and they have very sharp teeth. Here's a funny little creature, a barnacle. Barnacles are small animals that stick themselves onto rocks, boats, and even bigger sea animals like whales. And look at this one. It's a blobfish. Blobfish live way, way down in the deep ocean, and they have a very unique, squishy look. Okay, let's see what's next with the letter C. First, we have the crab. Crabs walk sideways on their many legs and have big claws to help them grab things. Here comes a clownfish. Does this fish look familiar? Clownfish love to live among the tentacles of sea animals. We also have the clam. Clams have a hard shell with two parts that they can open and close to protect themselves. And let's not forget the coral. Coral might look like a rock or a plant but it's actually made of tiny animals all living together, creating big, beautiful reefs. On to the letter D. Here comes a dolphin. Dolphins are super smart and playful mammals that love to jump out of the water. And look at this gentle giant, the dugong. Dugongs are also called sea cows because they love to eat seagrass all day long. What a peaceful life! Next up is E. This is an eel. Eels have long, snake-like bodies and can hide in small cracks in the rocks. They are amazing hunters. We also have the elephant seal. These seals are named for the large, trunk-like nose the males have. They are very big and can be pretty loud. Are you ready for F? First is the flounder. Flounders are flatfish with both of their eyes on one side of their head, which helps them lie flat on the ocean floor and hide. And look at this one. It's a flying fish. They don't really fly like birds, but they can leap out of the water and glide for long distances using their special fins. Let's go with the letter G. Here we have the giant squid. The giant squid is a mysterious creature that lives deep in the ocean. It has huge eyes, the biggest in the animal kingdom. And here's a goosefish, also known as a monkfish. It has a huge mouth and uses a little lure on its head to attract smaller fish to eat. H is for hammerhead shark. Look at the shape of its head. Hammerhead sharks have a wide head shaped like a hammer, which helps them see and hunt for food. And this little beauty is a seahorse. The horse of the sea swims upright and has a curly tail to hold onto seagrass. Fun fact! The daddy seahorse is the one who carries the babies. I is next. We have the isopod. Giant isopods look like huge pill bugs and live on the very bottom of the cold, deep ocean. They are amazing scavengers. Now for the letter J. It's a jellyfish. Jellyfish float through the ocean with their bell-shaped bodies and long, 
trailing tentacles. They look so graceful, but be careful, some can sting. K is for krill. Krill are tiny, shrimp-like creatures that swim in enormous swarms. They are super important because they are food for many beggar animals, like blue whales. Let's look at the letter L. Here's a lobster. Lobsters have a hard shell and big, strong claws. They walk along the ocean floor looking for their next meal. And this is a lionfish. Lionfish are very beautiful with their long, striped fins, but those spines are venomous to protect them from predators. M is for manta ray. Manta rays are giant, gentle rays that look like they're flying through the water with their huge, wing-like fins. And look at this. It's a manatee. Manatees are large, slow-moving mammals that are very gentle. They're also called sea cows, just like dugongs. N is for narwhal. Narwhals are often called the unicorns of the sea because the males have a long, single tusk that's actually a tooth. They live in the cold Arctic waters. O is for octopus. Octopuses are incredibly smart animals with eight arms and they can change their color and texture to blend in with their surroundings perfectly. It's like magic. And here's the oyster. Oysters can make beautiful, shiny pearls inside their shells. P is for pufferfish. When a pufferfish gets scared, it can puff up into a big, spiky ball to scare away predators. Don't poke the puffer. And here's a penguin. Penguins are birds that can't fly but they are expert swimmers. They waddle on land but are so graceful in the water. Q is for queen conch. The queen conch is a large sea snail that has a beautiful, big, pink-lipped shell. It's a true treasure of the ocean. R is for ray. We saw the manta ray, but there are many kinds of rays, like the stingray. They have flat bodies and glide along the seafloor. S is for shark. There are so many kinds of sharks, from the big great white to the small dogfish. They are very important for keeping the ocean healthy. And here's a starfish, also called a sea star. They usually have five arms and can even regrow an arm if they lose one. How amazing is that? We also have the shrimp. Shrimps are small crustaceans that can swim backwards very quickly. T is for tuna. Tuna are powerful, fast swimming fish that travel all over the world's oceans. And of course, the turtle. Sea turtles have a hard shell for protection and swim long distances to lay their eggs on the same beaches where they were born. U is for urchin. Sea urchins are spiny, round animals that crawl slowly along the seabed. Their spines help protect them from hungry fish. V is for vampire squid. Don't worry, it doesn't drink blood. It's called a vampire squid because it has a dark, cloak-like webbing between its arms and lives in the deep, dark ocean where there's no sunlight. W is for walrus. Walruses are large marine mammals with long tusks and big whiskers. They love to live in the chilly Arctic. X is for the fissura. That's a tricky one. The fissura is a scientific name for the horseshoe crab. They are ancient creatures that have been around since before the dinosaurs. Y is for yellow tang. The yellow tang is a bright yellow fish that loves to swim around coral reefs, eating algae and keeping the reef clean and healthy. And finally, we made it to Z. Z is for zooplankton. Zooplankton are tiny, microscopic animals that drift in the ocean. They are a super important food source for so many sea creatures, from tiny fish to giant whales. Wow! We learned so many ocean animals from all the way to Z. From the amazing angelfish to the zillions of zooplankton, 
The ocean is full of incredible life. You are all ocean experts now. Which animal was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more fun learning adventures with us. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.